Hey, howdy, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. When it comes to TikTok and video games, I get suggestions through the algorithm gods to play games that I've either played before, seen before, or have no part of wanting to play. But this game is, uh... It's on a new level. This game is called Depart, a photorealistic intense horror game currently in a tech demo stage on itch.io. Link in the pinned comment. This game came to me via the TikTok algorithm and I recorded a genuine first time reaction to this game and it was so fucking scary I couldn't even finish the first 15 minutes of the game. So I had to split it up into two different days. So if you want to see my genuine reactions to it all so you can type bitch made in the comment section then I suggest sticking around. But before we get into it and if it ain't too much to ask, if you watch till the end of the video and you like what you see then consider hitting the that sub button for more content like this okay let's get into it all right guys here we are this is depart this is a game that i found through tiktok just randomly scrolling one day and this game is currently on itch.io and it's developed by a guy whose name is n4ba apparently have no clue what the fuck that stands for. But the reason why I was intrigued about this game and why I wanted to play it is because the FPS controller is very similar to Unrecord's FPS controller. And as you know, that game had a lot of hype and mystery surrounding it as to how the FPS function actually worked. So today we are actually gonna test out kind of the same technology here with Depart. Again, this is a tech test slash tech demo slash prototype slash whatever the fuck it is. It is not on Steam. It is through itch.io, like I said. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So far, I love how this looks. Like looking around, there's kind of like a VHS type effect here. I can kind of tell that the camera is like bobbing around. The light peeking through this door right here is really nice and the smoke that's surrounding it just looks really nice as well. For a tech demo, this ain't that fucking bad. When you move, it forces the FOV into a different angle and it just, I don't know man, this actually kind of looks cool. The lighting also just looks very, very good in this. I'm assuming we are about to get our first firearm. Oh well, fuck me running holy shit that i'm not even gonna lie that kind of scared me a little bit not even gonna lie here and also i love how the focal point is kind of zoomed in right here on this little like box that's sticking out because everything around it is blurry it just again just small attention to detail here oh okay so that's how that works i wish i had a camera that showed you guys what i'm doing right here so with the micro movements on your mouse it moves the player's arms while more drastic movements actually move your camera wow holy shit that's impressive all right let's see what the gun sounds like we have to shoot this door anyways so Ooh, that sounded pretty nice okay what about reloading i'm fucking shitting my pants right now dude um hello I just seen you open this door, you cocksucker. Uh, 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 okay. Hi. Sorry. I'll just be going on my way now. God, that scared the fucking shit out of me. I don't know if I've mentioned this before to y'all. Um, I'm kind of a bitch when it comes to horror games. I'm not even gonna... What the fuck was that? Hands are sweating like I'm a fucking whore in church. Anything in here worth grabbing? Except probably a new pair of pants. This is gonna be the second day that I'm attempting to record this video without shitting my goddamn pants. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. There is one thing I do want to comment on, and I love the aesthetic of this body cam style, I guess kind of vibe that they're going for. Again, like I said earlier, everything feels super responsive. I can just kind of look to where I want and it snaps right to it. I do wish there was an FOV slider a little bit because it kind of just looks like my wrist are touching my chin but I also kind of get it. It's in the style of body cam footage, so you're not gonna have like the most anatomically correct positioning. Yeah, and then that little bastard is right fucking there. Um, If I pop him, he's not gonna die. Like if I move closer, yoink, yeah, he just leaves. Oh, hi buddy. Motherfucker. I uh, really don't want to go downstairs. It, yeah, you know, no fucking shit. It's too fucking dark. So it just turns out that I'm dumber than shit. I had to actually take the flashlight and put it on the gun. I do not like where this shit's fucking going, bro. Remember, guys, check your corners. Said some guy. Ah! Oh, motherfucker. Oh, god damn. 
Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't have my fucking headphones on for that, and it still scared the fuck out of me. Oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. Give me a... Give me a second, guys. Okay. Well, it's been about five minutes, and, uh... Yeah. I don't know how I feel. If I have any doubt or any reasonable suspicion as to why I shouldn't go fucking this way, uh, the last 10 minutes of my life have been fair enough evidence for me to just not go that fucking way. Uh, so I might just go down this way. Um, I don't like where this shit's going, boss. Why are you giving me a magazine? the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? Holy mother of God above. What the fuck are you? Mm, 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 mm. Love it. Okay. Well, I'm getting the fuck out of here. This is just fantastic. Oh, good Lord above. And, and again, you can't check how much ammo is in your magazine, right? So I have no idea how many rounds I have left. I'm just going to go ahead and do a safety reload just in case. Dude, this game is just so atmospheric and it's just so surreal and it just makes my fucking body hurt. Okay, so after doing just a little bit of exploring here, I figured out that I'm supposed to go in through this door right here. There's gonna be something to the right of me, isn't there? This, there's just no way that it can't be. You so- mm -hmm. All right, hello, I'm just, uh, moving into the area and I just wanted to make myself known um you need anything let me know please oh you son of a bitch you big fucker you you big motherfucker you oh my god holy fucking shit Fucking bastard, get the fuck away from me. Oh shit. God damn. I'm not retrying this. Go fuck yourself. I think that goes without saying that this game is probably one of the scariest fucking games I have ever played in my entire life. And believe it or not, not much is actually known about this game. The details of it or anything like that, I haven't been able to find any. If I had to guess just simply based off of lighting and general FPS controller physics, this game is probably made on UE5. But like I said earlier, Unrecord has a very similar FPS controller like this game does. And now that I get to play and test out how that FPS controller feels, I think more more games should be adapting this type of FPS controller. Like honestly, how fucking cool would it be to play Ready or Not with a camera like that? Maybe even Insurgency Sandstorm. Hell, even Ground Branch would benefit from having a controller like this, or even just a downloadable mod somewhere on the Steam Workshop. Please do not let my mellow tempo fool you because uh, my body took a goddamn screenshot when I seen this shit. My hands were sweatier than Timothy McVeigh's defense attorney while going down those hallways. N4BA is a talented dev, but homie, you can kiss my whole ass for making a fucking game this scary. Oh right, you're just a scared little bitch. Bet my fucking heart is better than yours though after not playing this fucking game all the way through. What are my final thoughts? 10 out of 10 would not shit my pants again, but maybe would play again. I don't know. If you watched all the way to the end of the video and you like what you've seen, then hit that sub button, that like button, and heart palpitate that notification bell for more content like this. And as always, my name is Redbeard Mortis. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. But until then, I am gonna go change my fucking pants. I'll see you guys later.